Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our uh, ascent to immortality or in other words we're trying to win one of the hardest campaigns in XCOM 2's history as we're trying to beat legendary Iron Man difficulty with double enemy squad size, um, the yellow alert mod and around 100 mods that make it just so much more difficult to win the actual thing. It's time for the Black Side Coordinates, Operation Iron Star. You guys know what the deal is. And what we want to do, what we really want to do is, we want to kill every single one of them, investigate the Advent Forge, uh, and uh, yeah, get rid of everything that we're finding. Get uh, the suit out of there and then essentially start um, to analyze uh, them as well. We brought Grell, Sonar, Diligi, Euler as well as Hogbite and Shadow for some scouting. I am hoping that this should go uh, pretty straightforward. We got a Malik algorithm which is one of the uh, things to look out for that can clone us. Uh, not a good uh, uh, not a good enemy to fight with. We got definitely a sector port, potentially a sector port prime because I had that uh, with an ABA mission um, in the past that the ABA tries to kind of sneak an a sector port prime in here as well. Then we got a couple of drones and and a couple of uh, rift keepers mark two. So plenty of enemies that actually require us to use. Uh, to use the right type of ammunition. I'm wondering, Sonar, if it would be a good idea to give you blue screen rounds. I think the answer is yes. Uh, that'll make it easier. Euler from high ground, I, I still think we're fine. That's a good mix. A bit of just damage and poison and a bit of anti-machinery. We brought two turrets with us. Uh, mobile ones, uh, Dilly G and Grell are carrying them. And Hogbite, the man, the legend, uh, will just carry his mind shield because he's immune against everything else. Anyways, time to get busy, as they say, and uh, hopefully, hopefully win this one. Operation Iron Star is hopefully a grandiose success. Okay, we landed. And we got ourselves an Elite Paladin Cyburster. What well, looks like a good unit to have, I suppose. Raise the Psi shield, uh, shield around allies and apply disoriented to enemies. All right, you got two of those, and it seems like a really good unit, to be honest. Got a flashbang, got shield wall, <laughs> got suppression. Get shield bash. Holy shit, that is a good unit. Welcome to the team. I'm always saying that is a good unit and every single enemy seems to be like completely OP. So of course, Saiken, you're going to get good units. I am on the move. No shit, Sherlock. Moving up. An alien patrol. And how about we're moving to here? Getting it done. Sonar. It's mainly moving down there. Got it. Euler. Moves into the middle. Needs that high ground to kill stuff. Hogbite moves up as well. That's our front line at the end of the day. Grell is standing just a tiny bit back in that sea paladin. I suppose goes with uh, in with the front line. Quote unquote only has 10 hit points, but three armor and uh, that extra shield make him sturdy. Mutant Trooper Collector Assassin. Anywhere. 
Proximity mine would be fantastic here. Just plant planting one and then they are moving away. Exploding whilst doing so. But there are definitely more aliens. I think what we want to do is we want to get uh, to this building here where they are currently on and use it as high ground to slowly but surely kind of move in that direction. Knowing um, the yellow alert mod, we potentially won't even need to wait for long. I would let them hopefully get down here. That way they would be on low ground and we could take them down. Okay, so there's another turret. Fair enough. Out of curiosity. What's the chance of getting this bad boy? That's a pretty good chance. We're going to use that. Uh, when the time has come. We could use this. But for now, I would say we're still okay. Paladin Cyberster moves up. It's going to be our frontline frontline. Oh, but it moves to here. And let's just wait until they are on low ground. I'm on it. Affirmative, covering now. On Overwatch. I absolutely love that prime team. Really good team composition. If we get a full psi operative in, that would be even better. We could start these guys with a flashbang, which would be an interesting way of uh, dealing with them, allowing them to not run into cover. Yeah, I think I might actually be doing that. The Paladin burster, uh, Buster with his flashbang. Might as well use uh, the extra resources that the game is giving us. Because uh, despite all of his hit points, if there is uh, an exalted custodian coming in, uh, we've already learned that 20 hit points don't mean invulnerable in this run. So that's a bit of an unorthodox way of starting, but the flashbang starts are actually quite legit starts that will um, that will force them to take really bad cover as you can see secondly in the tactical analysis next round uh, they only have one turn and with that one turn they are not even in a really good spot so I like where this is going Sona gets an 8 protocol just for good measures, and then the super heavy turret is going to be taken over. There we go. Got a nice little extra turret. Well, too bad. A remote start wouldn't work here. Good, so we could theoretically hit that turret and almost kill it. That's not the idea. The other super heavy turret, we could definitely get that one. Let's maybe start with a few more obvious options. Four starters, Sonar. Out. Uh, moves in. 
And we're rapid firing this guy. <laughs> Dodged it. Well. Not as long as sonar is around. We already knew that he was here, so it's not a big surprise. This here will set them up. Also give us some focus. There we go. Alright, so back to our option here. New. And uh, second shot. Oh, wow. Well, one damage is better than uh, zero damage. As they say. Moving up with Dilly. And typically we're shifting extra actions into Euler. This time it is the other way around. That's not a 100% kill, which means I do want to use the pistol. That's 100% kill. Uh, let's just double check something real quick, shall we? I would love to see if this here would pull another pack, because if the answer is no, then Aqua is just going to stand right next to this guy. Well, guess what? Aqua is going to pay you a little visit. Okay, well, we qu we can't fully kill the guy downstairs yet, but what we can do is <clears throat> we can injure uh, injure him heavily. Hopbite would be able to finish him, and Euler begins to move in the right direction. You know what? Why not? Let's build up uh, that that extra uh, blood trail. Also more focus. Oh, but it's now at three focus. That's not bad. Enemies are charging in. I guess no one at this point is surprised about it. Armor still holding. Just off target. Okba does what he's supposed to do tanking although technically we weren't even aware that uh, we would be flanked but you know how yellow alert uh, is from time to time it can be brutal and unfair all 
All right, alien activity. So far, so good. Bit of an overwatch there. Fair enough. Euler begins to move in. I hope it's worth it. Twelve to fourteen. How is that not automatically killing? Well, this should trigger Overwatch. Yep. And let's just try those shields for, for once. Nice! Everybody got some extra HP. I like that. Hopbite is fully charged and loaded. And his uh, his ability to just uh, deal damage in waves, like the wave arc, that very much comes in handy. Euler. Kills the first one. Kills the second one. There you go. We're moving up over here with Dilly G. Still haven't even deployed the turrets because we're so busy with everything. I got it, right? Free reload. Eleven to fourteen. Well, that could be a one-shot kill, which is interesting. Let's see. Dead eye. Nineteen. Twenty-two. That could be a kill. Let's try that. Thanks for dead eye. And in one go, we just obliterated everybody. Now is a good time to drop all of the turrets and maybe use Ghost. Enemy eliminated. Get rid of our hacked turret here. And you know, I don't know, I go for just for good measure. I don't think that anyone is moving in. I'm hearing a sector pot stomping. I am trusting you. The patrol is coming. Ooh, if they move up, this could be a nice nice little prank to to get them. Cannon moves up. We're moving into cover. I'm deliberately choosing this position so that next turn we can summon the ghost. Grell is, move, uh, is moving up as well. I'm very happy with uh, how the team functions so far. Super, super strong. Yep. 
Good. So idea is we're building up our little base and then we're slowly but surely moving forward. In the first uh, few packs already have been a pleasure to deal with. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, please just wait. No, not closer. Stay there. Yep, just right there. But this is not triggering anyone. It is clear. And this year will be a fantastic situation. Well, that's going to be one of our best pulls yet. I'll leave this here. Good. Thankfully, the remote start will explode the grenade and also deal damage to the to two of uh, the enemies. The follow-up claymore uh, then deals damage to the rest. So we got a few kills, one kill just right out of uh, the gates. And Euler's there and very much ready. The scrotum dies, which is important. You'd never want to, uh, to have a loosely hanging ball sack somewhere in the middle of the battlefield. That's not how it should work. We got one purifier left over. All right, Saiken. I think we can conclude that that engagement went well. Sona moves up, finishes this uh, clown, and we're good. Now, meanwhile, on the other side of the fence, got a nice little ghost here. Costs us two focus and will give us. one Templar Ghost. We're also going to pick up that extra focus, so it really just cost us one focus in our turn. We're moving up. Double time. Could have just moved, uh, taken a single move and, <clears throat> and then uh, uh, deployed the turret, but it's okay for now. Templar Ghost moves up. And let's deploy a turret. Here is as good of a position as anywhere. Overwatch and finish turn. That engagement here was fun. Pack of seven. And after the the initial engagement, like one of them uh, was standing with one hit point and no cover. The explosions potentially have been heard uh, from the other side. trying to tell me that that single marauder okay well of course buddy knock yourself out you can try to fight us all by yourself Moving as ordered. shadow begins to scout further really just one marauder Hogbite 
goes into full collector mode. Superior laser sight. Nice. And we are prepping this guy for a kill. Good. Dilly G moves up. Has uh, been surprisingly quiet for a Dilly G mission because normally he dominates with kills but uh, this time it was the oiler uh, show uh, so far doesn't mean that that can't change very soon On the move. moving down here I can move up very uh, very soon No, 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 this time I'm not forgetting the turret again. Finally. We wanted to... He even Grell says, finally. Wanted to deploy another turret. Put it there. Reloading with Shadow. Templar Ghost moves up. More turrets. And Dilly G takes an overwatch. Euler has three reloads. Yeah, I think we're just going to overwatch for now. And a bit of parry. That elite paladin moves over here. I really like that AoE shield. Super good. I'm a bit afraid that it won't last forever. But having a buffer of six hit points on everybody isn't bad. Couple of mech algorithms. <laughs> and the sector pot with 90 armor uh, 90 hit points and what? is even excessive for standards of this campaign so the guy has 90 armor and at 90 hit points and 10 armor okay well 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 it's going to that's this is going to be interesting That's the first real sector port. Uh, apparently, the mod uh, dangerous sector ports or fearful sector ports or whatever it was called that did not um, include the new sector ports from ABA. Doesn't surprise me because, yeah, realistically speaking, ABA is a complete separate mod. Now is the perfect time, by the way, to go for the sector pot and uh, tank it with our with our ghost. So we're setting this up, okay? Just for good measure, someone else will trigger it. And as a first shot, let's sting and shred that sector port. Well, he has 12 armor. And the game didn't like our idea, so we're going to replay that in a second. Okay, second attempt. Setting up the camera correctly. Um, 
the microphone rather and uh, let's see if we break the game again so let's put this guy over here it might even explode the car by thinking about it which would be a fantastic chain reaction and now we're starting to go uh, with that sector pod Good, moving up with our Paladin. We're using the weakest quote-unquote weapon in order to trigger that. Gaining a nice little chain reaction. Re-reload. What are we going to do? Twenty-two. Well, that's a kill. Let's maybe start with uh, cereal because I want all of uh, the ability points to be reward uh, refunded. It's the difference between death from above and cereal is cereal actually gives you both of them back. There you go. See, I could theoretically move. Okay, just getting these guys out of the way. I definitely got that one. Okay. The sector pod isn't really the most uh, dangerous one here. We got to deal with uh, those mech algorithms. Boy, are they going to suck. And what I'm wondering is, I can't even reach them. Well, we could reach uh, the sector port for sure. I'm going. That car already exploded. <clears throat> I might as well just use the shred cannon because I think it shreds four. Yep, I was right. It shreds four. Ooh. Totally forgot that we could theoretically hack some of them. Can we hack those <laughs> mech algorithms? So wait, if we hack them and we could clone enemies, that seems incredibly imbalanced. A failed hack will overload the soldier's brain and cause instant death. Okay. Okay, good. I mean, you know, I guess it's a bit risk, uh, risk and reward with these uh, things. Twenty-seven percent. Well, we could stun him. They have a relatively high tech score. Rolling the dice for instant death. I would want to uh, take these things over. Going in for the kill. All right, time <clears throat> to move in with sonar.
shredding that algorithm. Still not a hundred percent kill, wow. So moving on. And we're not taking those shots yet. Good. In order to not get any surprises later, the Templar Ghost will already go in. If we pull a pack, then that is fine, but we at least know about it. Oh, look at you! Well, they do have lightning field, apparently, as a reflection. More enemies coming in. Yeah, we're just going to parry. I'm committed at this point. I mean, look, we could move in, move out. Wouldn't be the worst idea. I don't want them to clone Hogbite either. So before we're moving out, before we're moving out, oh. <laughs> Well, at least uh, they do have technical analysis going, so they won't be able to move all the way up to us. Still shocked by that instant death uh, thing. Can't fully kill him unless of course unless of course we could hand over an action which we cannot so what's the deal here Saiken what is the deal That main sector port is taking some damage. Moving up with the Silated Turrets. The front line so far only consists of um, expendable units if you, uh, if you ignore Sonar, of course. And Hogbite can always move back, so I wouldn't include him either uh, this make algorithm is a problem advanced teamwork I think we need to just give it another notch that's what it needed Pretty drawn out map to fight. Check it you get too close. 
Good. We could potentially be nastiest pack that I've seen so far on this map. Moving up. No, 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 no. Are we going to injure him? I think yes, because we don't want any cloning. These guys are incredibly nasty. But moves back even further. Oh, that's the worst timing for the shield to be removed. Paladin needs to get his shields back up. Yeah, lightning field, unfortunately. Well, trigger is blade storm. But really, you can't parry it. Yeah, second shot uh, then was a critical. Oh, another shot. Okay, cool. Well, that's a lot of actions for one unit. But then again, it's the dreaded sectopod rework with even scarier sectopods. This guy needs to die. Algorith need to die first. They are really high on the target priority, mainly because they are relatively easy to kill and just an incre incredible opponent to deal with Overwatch engaged. elders cleansing okay i wonder what that is and psyguard i wonder what that is as well Well, the cleansing has removed technical analysis. That's interesting. Or maybe it did not. I don't know. Maybe it did not. No, can't reach him. There is an overwatch which is likely to be triggered. Elite Palad uh, Paladin moves up, triggers the overwatch. Or does not trigger the overwatch. See uh, Psy Harden shields again. There we go. Should have moved uh, these guys a bit closer, but whatever. Good. We're going to ready that sector port, and we're going to ready him very, very well. Don't, don't you worry about that. Euler moves up. Free reload and 100% rupture plus removing of all of almost all of its armor. Down to 41 hit points. So I do have an idea of how we're dealing with him. We have nothing to fear. That sectopod is finally a real challenge. I remember how blue screen rounds made them. 
weaker and weaker, but not anymore. Chain shot is Euler slowly but surely penetrates the defenses of the sector pod. Not the thing is still standing. Oh, the algorithm. Too many hit points. You're telling me the sector pod hides behind that. Okay. Not going to debate the the physics here. I tell you what, <clears throat> let's just get the kill. That's implacable and untouchable. We could theoretically move all the way up to here and be the frontliner for now. Oh, that would be a beautiful remote start. That's a nice one as well. I think we're going to go for that remote start. Reload and let's remote start. That's hitting two of them <clears throat> quite nicely. Make algorithm remains. A problem for us. It's dead. It has to be dead. Good hair trigger free action. Good. This might trigger an overwatch, but I think we should be fine. Correction, it triggers actually multiple overwatches. Hope I took three points of damage. And our main uh, target, the algorithm. Dies. I got it, right? Sectored. Dies as well. Dilly G is taking over again. Thanks to Death from Above, the sniper rifle. And this absolutely unfair advantage to hit everybody. Oh, <laughs> the guy dodged. No way. All right, sellative turrets slowly but surely are moving up. Oh, bite moves into cover and I think he's going to be the one who's tanking for us this turn. Finally. Just for safety. Oh, but get some you? topping off. He has enough hit points and full cover. Immunities. It's going to be fine. I think we're overall okay. Let's just end the turn. Yep, 
There's the blade storm. And the kill. Very good. Enemy starts to go for the turrets, that's okay for me as well. And apparently does like the paladins. <laughs> Suppression, that's funny. Alright, we got a holy warrior going. Birch Trooper. It's trying to kill a turret. This is a true battlefield. Like, shots everywhere. Everything explodes. Overward shots. Suppression. You name it. Let us uh, A. Oh, wait, we don't have uh, the ability, uh, action points for that. We're reloading, and then we're just going to remove cover from him. Thank you. We can't hunker down with the turrets. Okay, well, I, I suppose we just have to accept it. Overwatch isn't possible, so might as well just go out of line of sight. Ready to rock. All right, hog bite. Ignores the spark mostly. Starts hitting that collector. Good. Spark is softened up. I like it. And that collector will die. Billy is on cleanup duty here. Locked and loaded. Fifty-five percent. Well, I let's just rapid fire. Good. Even a single hit or a removal of the cover would have been good. What are we dealing with? 11 points. Is that a one-shot kill? No. It's unfortunately not. Euler! What's up? Plasma grenades won't just get as far as needed. Here I come. Which kind of brings us to our paladin. Who moves over here? The guy even has AP rounds, that is fantastic. Overwatch, Overwatch here. Overwatch. Overwatch here. Yeah, no, not worth it. Let's keep a full magazine for now. This could be a kill. Of course.
Drops minimum damage. Could have been also a dodge, so who cares? Ogbite is parrying and daring them to come closer. He's ready. He's ready. Well, I've just discovered where the actual elite paladins are coming from. Stun Lancer's done. I think I need some help. All right, well, nice little lock, uh, knock there. Yeah, and that's not going to go well for you, buddy. Hogbite is solidly immune to those shenanigans. Good, we're doing fine. Ish. Let's look. Let's get here. Set up that spark. And then we should be fine. Oh, hair trigger. Okay. Well, you know what? I just will kill it. Implacable, untouchable, into cover. Getting ready for that priest. Ogbite is on a roll. He just doesn't take shit from anyone. Keep on going. We're good. Uh, that assassin could be a solid kill. Fifteen, yeah, no, let's kill that assassin first. Check it before you get too close. Then the priest. Potentially sustenance. That's not good. Well, I tell you what, we're just going to continue here. There's the sustenance. What's over there? Cannon moves over. Can't really hit anyone over there. That's unfortunate. Hawk by Perry's. Moving into a position where we're likely not going to be spotted out. And our paladin is also moving to the front. Super happy with the paladin bur uh, psi bursters. Turret moves up. Removes the shields. Very good. Oh, 
Oh wow, down to one HP, cool. I tell you what, why not uh, put an 8 protocol down here, that makes it harder to hit. And we get an overwatch with threat assessment as well. Okay, the only thing that he could have done was saving his stupid ass with um, with stasis. Well, good on you. That was a clever play. Stasis unfortunately doesn't trigger Bladestorm for whatever reason when you stand right next to them. Demonstrating once again that Psy Operatives are the strongest class in the game. They even are immune to Bladestorm if they want to be. Okay, I'll need to take a break here. We're going to continue in a second and with the rest of the mission. All right, so I'm back. Wow, a lot has happened and I wanted to fill you guys in. Maybe the graphics even improved for you. So the short version of what has happened is between the last second and this second for you uh, lie about three and a half months of uh, real life uh, time. I haven't had a chance to really play in a while, uh, mainly because this campaign has become incredibly unstable on my old uh, PC for a, a variety of reasons. And I'm now trying uh, to play it with a new uh, PC and hopefully this is going to work better. On the bright side, guys, I got a new high-end PC, which should be very much okay to uh, stream and run most modern games. So you should see kind of ultra high um, resolutions and a lot of fight. The downside of it is I have absolutely no idea where we left off. I just remember we wanted to do this, uh, this mission here, but my elaborate plans of three months uh, ago are potentially not relevant anymore. Anyways, I'll play it by ear and shake off the rust. Hopefully that won't cost our operatives their lives or me the campaign. But the point is, had I not switched uh, computers, uh, likely there wouldn't have been an ending to the campaign because it really kept on crashing a lot uh, lately. And that is a continuous problem that I had with just the amount of mods. I think the old PC was just not able to uh, manage it. Okay, enough dabbling into what has happened. I, the way that I'm seeing it, we do have two uh, elites over here and we got a priest over there. So, uh, and we had a mind controlled uh, paladin. I have no idea how long this guy will last for us. Oh no, it was a double agent. I distinctly remember that one. In case I've already played that, uh, I apologize because the last turn that I played, I remember very, very vividly that there was a lot of uh, a lot of problems just yeah finishing that turn really. This guy still has full cover, which I don't like. Uh, so let's do something about it, shall we? Moving into full cover ourselves uh, with Euler. And luckily, we got the big fat plasma grenades. A two for one. Oh, yeah, well, should have looked for loot. And we did have death from above, so Dilly G continues his ongoing rampage on this map. I definitely remember that part. So, what else is new? We had our scout over here. Shadow is still doing shadowy things. Not revealed. Good job. 
and we had a few salted turrets uh, which we wanted to bring to the front these plus our double agent i forgot which creative name i gave him so for now uh, let's call him emilio if that is not what i called him three months ago then he has a double name and Scanning. you just gotta accept that I'm ready. sonar overwatch is here as well i just need to get a feel for where we are at the moment scanning protocol won't help us a lot so grell begins to move up gosh i've missed xcom i've been playing so much phoenix point lately like really a lot of phoenix point this game is ultra long i'm still not done which is a bit of a shame but that's a different story i don't want to spoil too much uh, you will see phoenix point starting later this year and I can tell you if you're a Phoenix Point fan, you're going to be in for a treat because my campaign will be long. Very, very long. I am at your service. Which also means I'm a bit rusty with uh, movements. Just double checking that nothing we is here. What? What? This is the shot we've been waiting for. Take that thing down before it has a chance to run. We've got a okay, now we know where the Viper King has moved to. He moved to a flying. It's okay, Central. I. Oh, wow. Central, I got you. Yes, it is the shot we've been waiting. Oh my gosh, it, he is going crazy because uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh boy, not only is see that's the type of bugginess that I uh, mean the mod uh, with uh, the Viper King has essentially. For, uh, forced him for whatever reason into this golden path mission let me just do something here real quick okay uh, because I'm sure you guys are as fed up with that as I am uh, let's do audio and for now voice volumes are going down Great, thank you. Bradford will still be ultra excited about all of that, but he will um, he will be excited whilst being muted. All right, we're just going to move up for now. Like I mentioned, the main idea now is to go uh, to go and storm. But with the Viper King showing up, things might have changed a little bit. Okay, game is at least not crashing. Got a hundred percent hit. That might be a kill. One. All right, come on. Two, three, four, five. So as I was saying, the amount of mods and conflict Harry mods as well uh, are just holding the game uh, back. There is another crash. Ugh. Let's hopefully it works. All right, so we're back um, for full transparency. I needed to use the console to fix this huge mess. So uh, my theory, and I haven't tested that, is the Viper King uh, spawned randomly on the map for whatever reason, got hung up here, couldn't move. 
that caused uh, the continuous messages of um, of Bradford. And when we killed it, uh, the corpse had nowhere to go. So naturally, so the game completely hung itself up. Now, what I needed to do is I needed to take control of the aliens. Uh, you can do that via console and then teleport the Viper King into this position. I randomly chose uh, that one for no particular reason. We had an open line of fire and it is what it is. He currently can't see us. So not perfect. Uh, I am just trying to make sure that this campaign somewhat stays stable. So let's see, does this work? That's a hit. At least we're seeing multiple shots now. And hopefully that's the last of all of uh, these stupid crashes. I really want to... Nice. I really want to deliver a, a good uh, set of episodes here. The game somehow just makes it so difficult for me to do that. Okay, well, the moment that I let him start speak again, Bradford is unfortunately taking the chance to go on to his tirade. He's around about all of the things that haven't gone well in his life. Okay, well, at least Bradford keeps calm now. We want to re-stealth. And we want to get everybody in, in a, into a good position. Let's use scanning protocol to see if we can find other aliens. Nothing, okay. Euler is first of all going to reload and secondly I want to take death from above. Did I reduce all of... no it's just voices. Okay the rest still should be fine. Okay. Delhi moves over as well. Without voices it is a bit quieter but I just can't let Bradford continue with his tirade the entire time. All right overwatch here, overwatch there. King is down, good work people. Can I trust that you are shutting up now, Bradford? We're reconcealing. Okay, cool. Let's take a look if there is anyone inside. Okay, short answer is no. Let's use our expendable expendables to move in. Selected turrets as well as the Paladin Burster. <coughs> moving in. Does he have one of those shields left over? No, he just has shield wall, but that's okay. On my way. What's over there? Oila begins to take the high ground <coughs> and 
the LEG begins to take the other high ground. What a crazy mission. At least we can now say we have gotten ourselves a new pair of snakeskin boots. Not hearing anything. I wonder where are the enemies? <coughs> Paladin moves in, nothing. Selected turret moves in, nothing as well. Euler moves over. I think Dilly could move to the absolute high ground here. <coughs> or we're just keeping our troops together. I don't want them to spread out too much. That's affirmative. And Sona moves in. Okay. Should have reloaded with Shadow. Eh, not the end of the world. But I like to be efficient. She can't banish again, right? That is gone. Yeah. I am at your service. It's a he, by the way. That is how long I did not play. Give me time to reload. Time to reload. Paladin moves in, and that is a bad sign. Generally speaking, you don't... Uh, we're still seeing enemies there. It's not an immediate handover to our turns. So someone is still on this map. We're staying together. It is clear. Ten gold. Few overwatches. Wait, 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 what, what is happening? Enemies on the move. They're fighting us. Rift Keeper comes in. Immediately summons a fanatic. Who in return kills our turret. <clears throat> Hate to see that one go. Okay, well, 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 well. Paladin moves up. Oh gosh, maybe we're just suppressing. Moving up. And I think what we're going to do is a chain shot. Oh, ho, ho, missed. Uh, ouch, that was not good. Running and gunning. We don't want additional spawns to happen. Oh, 
Nice little hit. Plus shredding. Unfortunately a miss. Let's do our strike. There we go, more shredding is happening. But we still got one more action left over. Down to two hit points. Can we somehow get in range of anything? Apparently the answer is a no. G moves up and he guesses this will be okay. Okay, we got an overwatch here. And boy, are we going to use that. In the meantime, Hogbite is doing what Hogbite's supposed to do run in. Teach the fanatics a lesson. Well Carry. As you order, Commander. Opening the door. Yeah, let's put suppression on. That way, the Fnatic can't use any of uh, its psionic abilities. Another rift. Oh. Couldn't be a worse timing. The guys can act immediately. But unfortunately... They did not think about Hogbite. Oh, he has lightning reflexes. Well, great job modding community. You made them uh, even more dangerous. Uh, before we do that, I think it's fair to say we want to get away here and instead go over here. can't really hit anything below let's just kill death from above trigger so we do have another turn you spotted us out overwatch is gone Dilly does a bit of an aggressive move here. And we got a special delivery. Fantastic. There 
good. Grell moves down. And yeah, we're not uh, having any problems with these... With uh, two packs of enemies. This is the prime team. Has fought stronger and harsher enemies before. And I wonder... I hope this is going to be the last round. Yep. Okay, that was the last round. Uh, let's get everybody up here into a center position. Because we don't know where the extraction will be. She also moves up. Okay. We're not on a timed mission. So really what we're going to do is... Moving people into position. One, two, three, and four. Core idea, be, uh, idea being, we want to be able to <coughs> reach both sides What's over there? equivalently fast. Let's do this. Good. Next turn, and we're good to go. Good. Confirmed acquisition of the package. Move to evac. Let's pick up the suit. I can cover it. And we are very much <clears throat> going to move out. That's a long run. Sell it to turret, overwatches. No need to ask twice. Got it, moving. Rolling out. Still haven't used the skull jack on a codex, but I think we don't have a skull jack with us. Oh, be a banshee. I mentioned it beforehand, this is not how Banshees look like. Maybe I'm too D&D uh, taught. But I got educated. Banshees uh, had been... Uh, one of the uh, users uh, commented uh, they uh, were originally just ghosts or uh, beings uh, of the woods. And they only later in the Christian... Uh, in the Christian ignorance uh, of not understanding Wicca religion had been formed into kind of these evil monsters which originally my understanding at least according to one of our uh, viewers uh, was not the case so fun fact learn something about Benji's whilst playing XCOM 2 who would have thought Very good. That was a strange mission, specifically that uh, 
that Viper King, that little elusive snake is finally dead. <laughs> Let's go boys, let's go. And girls of course as well. Growl Sonar, Deli G, Cannon, Hogbite and Shadow did as always a fantastic job. And we got ourselves finally the Viper King Corpse. As well as the Stasis Suit. Very good. Now let's just pick, uh, catch up with uh, what has originally been happening here. So we are doing the Rift Keeper autopsy. Cool. Praetorian autopsy looks interesting as well, but I specifically uh, got recommended to do the Custodian <coughs> autopsy. No idea if the Exalted Custodian Powered Armor is even better than that, but the moment that we do have the Alarium Crystals, that will be our next gig. In terms of uh, Shadow Chamber, we could always research that, but that's going to happen over time. Um, so let's see. We're okay. Oh, I remember we wanted to slowly but surely research more. Uh, we had that dark event with uh, the power ongoing, Stone Age. Yep, I remember that one. And I failed to build uh, sparks multiple times. So that did not work well in our favor. What? else happened oh we got the ufo again searching for us so we might be shut down avatar progress is fine but i know that we wanted to do um the alien facilities so there's at least one more ruler here and one more ruler there uh i apparently there's a mech ruler and there's a um, another um, another ruler that I uh, forgot about, a bio ruler, and there is also the uh, Hive Queen. So plenty of stuff for us to do. Uh, and the Codex Brain coordinates with 55 enemies. It's also something to consider. Um, we definitely know this is where we will find cod uh, codexes or codices. Let's just see, nine more days until these guys are fine again. Okay, well, I get an approximate feel for where we are. Like I said, it's for you guys, it is very recent. For me, it's ages ago that I played all of that. Um, wanted to kill the rulers, but I need banish for that because elsewise these suckers are going to flee. So really, uh, since we only have one Reaper available, uh, Shadow is going to be the one that is helping us in this regard. We need a lot of upfront damage and Shadow must be the one uh, that we take to the alien facilities. Codex Brain coordinates don't want to do that with the with a secondary Avengers team either so really the prime team has a lot of things that they need to do and yeah we're building up more resources I think that was the last trained resource Promote the soldier, medical protocol, yes. Revival protocol, yes, thank you. And we're also quickly customizing uh, the color. Green as always. There you go. Cool. So, these sergeants and captains, these are for the normal missions. We still wanted to have a broader uh, team and I remember I also 
um, bound equipment to each of uh, the people individually. Can we do anything here? We could build another school jack. It's not a bad idea. Let's just do that. And we didn't have Elarium. Uh, if, if my memory serves me well, we also wanted to keep Elarium uh, mainly uh, for the research and the Elarium cores. We wanted to definitely keep for um, for uh, equipment uh, in our heavy weapons. Secure the disabled UFO. That could be what we have been looking for. Let's see what we're fighting against. Oh. I now remember what I was missing. All of the custom enemies. So let's see. Codex. Sparks. Perch Bishop. That is not good. N another Perch Bishop. Sectorport Hunter. Elite Drone. Archons. Okay, well. There is not going to be any easy mission. Uh, we will do that the next time that we're playing. Uh, for now, thank you for watching, guys. As always, if you want to uh, support the resistance, click the like button for a good cause that will help the propaganda and uh, help us to get new recruits. Thank you and have a good one. Bye-bye.